All right, my name is Ryan Clift, and I'm going to show you the proper procedures to painting. Um, I'm going to use a sample board since we don't have a house really to paint, and I'm going to work with just whatever materials I have. But um, the proper way to start is, uh, well, first let me explain my materials. I have the caulk gun. That's what we do to fix cracks. We have the sander to make it smooth. We have our paint, which is, of course, painted. And then we have our wash rags because we want to make sure everything's clean like. But, uh, alright. The first step is caulking all the cracks. We have our caulk gun material. We got our caulk gun. And uh, the way to hold this caulk gun is just like this. You pull the trigger and you stop this to stop the flow of the caulk. But, so, if you look at our sample board, we have these cracks in it. And you really don't want to paint that because all the paint will leak with inside these little cracks and you're going to have a weird looking board. So um, you got to put it at an angle with the cut and you slowly squeeze the trigger on all these lines. And then you use your middle finger and just go right over it. Fill in the hole, make sure it's all filled in. That's a little messy right there, but oh well. And uh, clean off the excess material. And you do that for all these cracks. And you push that stop. This is probably the messiest part of all of this. And you really don't want to get this caulk stuff on your clothes unless you're just prepared to ruin your clothes because it's really hard to get off and uh, it'll stain your clothes. Got a bunch of cracks in this board. All right. So now that we got all the the holes leaked in, usually you would also use a putty knife to fill in uh, big holes like knots in the board and stuff if it's not a crack. But uh, this board's free of all those. So now we get sandpaper, which this is a sandpaper to a uh, sanding machine, but I really don't want to use that. So. Um, we're going to use just straight up sandpaper. You just grab it and you just go like this to smooth it out. This, hold on. This will relieve the board of all little bumps in it and everything, like uh, any kind of loose wood or anything. It just makes it smooth and an even surface. Um, which it didn't have much, so it's not going to take long. All right. Uh, third step. We get a wash rag. We get a wet wash rag and a dry wash rag. Um, you have a lot of loose like debris on here now from sanding it and making everything loose. And so um, when you paint that, it's going to cause the paint to run really bad. And uh, plus, it just leaves it ruins the whole point of sanding because it's going to leave bumps of paint everywhere. So you're going to get this wet wash rag, you're just going to wash all that off. Then get your dry wash rag because you don't want the board to be wet when you're painting it. And dry everything off. So now you have a smooth board, the crack's fixed, and uh, it's not rough, nothing, and it's all clean. So, last, finally, the actual painting spot. Get a screwdriver or a key or a knife or anything, put it in the ledge of the paint, to pop it open. Get any kind of paintbrush. You want your paintbrush to be kind of loose too, but this one's an old one, so it's not real loose.
but you dip it in there, rub the excess paint off. We got only clear coat because uh, we don't have any uh, colorful paint. Hold your brush like this. Just do even strokes. Depending on how heavy you want your coat, um, just that depends on how much paint you put on, of course. But uh, there's different ways you can do it like this when you're doing even stuff, but when you're getting corners, you gotta push your butt brush flat and get it nice and straight lines. And then uh, you put one final thing on it to make it smooth. You make long straight lines. That way it's not streaking and uh, which in this case our cracks are uh, still showing but that's just because we use clear paint. If we was to use white or black or red or blue or whatever those cracks would be you know fixed but once again we're having to use clear paint. So um, that's pretty much it to painting. When, it take, when you're with a house, it's going to um, take longer and more holes to fix, more cracks to fix. But uh, since we're using a sample board, it really don't take that long. But once again, you have your caulk gun to fill in the cracks. If you have a putty knife, you have your putty to fill in the holes. You sand it, wash it, paint it, it's finished. So there's your board, it's all good.